I thought uh, in general the, the shots were, were good. Um, you know, we we got to make a play and, and, and finish. You know, I I don't mind you know the open looks, the drives, the attacks. Um, so I thought in general, you know, they're pretty good. Uh, Jack down the stretch came up pretty good with some defensive plays. I know you talked about his willingness to do all the dirty work, um, the game rebounding. Mm -hmm. How do you continue to get that going in the fourth quarter, especially when a team is big? Yeah, it's it's big. I mean, we did a terrific job in that first half, um, pretty much for three quarters, and I think they they had five for eight points in that fourth, which was big. Um, you know, two opportunities um, that turned it over. Once again, pretty good for three quarters, um, and th those were were big plays. But uh, you know, I think there's there's pretty good progression in general. Um, we came out, we're very competitive. The effort was there. I thought we moved and moved the ball, shared the ball. Great, created easy offense. Um, you know, early in the game, we had a little bit of momentum, um, and just we got to find a way to close it. Third quarters um, have been an issue trying to get that same production in the first half, start of the third quarter. Tonight, you do get that push mm -hmm. to start the third quarter. Was it? Was there something different that happened? Did you come no, out earlier? No, I think the you know the guys have just taken hold of that, and it's just kind of a mindset shift for the group. Is we can't afford, you know, to start slow. If we can get out the gate, win the first three minutes, um, you know, it's kind of internally they force that team to call a, a timeout. That, that's a momentum shift for us. So um, that's a positive, and I think we we got to keep leaning in on that. Uh, we did did a lot of good things. I know it, it doesn't feel right, doesn't feel like we did, but um, I think it's stuff we can build upon. Back to back games for Kuz with double digit assists. What are you seeing from him? He's, uh, you know, he's doing it organically. You know, he's not forcing it. I think he's taking the right types of shots. He's creating offense for his teammates. Um, he's setting guys up, which is is, is terrific. Um, yeah, it's, it's just another layer for him. You know, to do that consistently. You know, one rebound short of a, a triple double. That's that's pretty good. What have you seen in his growth as a playmaker since like, the first round? Have you seen? Well, I think the. Um, you know, he's cut down significantly on the turnovers. And, you know, those were turnovers of aggression, which I don't necessarily mind, but he's, he's taking better control of the ball, uh, making solid decisions, getting guys organized, you know, spatially, which, is, which has helped us, you know, tremendously offensively. What are some of the teaching moments that you can take from a game like this for some of the guys? Yeah, I think just, you know, you know, managing that wave, you know, and I thought we, we had some good stretches where uh, they pushed and we pushed back. You know, obviously we, we didn't have enough – we didn't make enough plays late to get it done, but um, that's progress. You know, to be in those situations where the game is tight, um, you know, the game's in the balance. I think that's that's growth for us. So uh, continue to lean in on that. Um, you know, I think when guys get going, well, what's the next layer? How do we put that fire out a little bit? You know, Bridges and Ball were great down the stretch. Made some some tough shots, um, and we had some answerable shots that we just didn't didn't make. Yeah, the, the I don't. Positives. I don't think uh, he will. Honestly, um, I think he just needed to see the ball go in a little bit. And I've spoke at length. He he works incessantly, so I'm not surprised. And he's going to continue to find his rhythm. And you know, I think the offense will will pick up for him. Uh, another good production from the bench. Um, and I know I asked you about the character of these guys before the game, but again, this remaining ruddy when necessary, especially Landry late in the game, yeah. when will often to be subbed out. Just, what does he bring off the bench with the veteran mindset that he has that he continuously is ready for? Well, I think he's been in that role where, you know, it's uh, very little, little lead up. You just They call his number, he goes in. Uh, I think he understands how he can impact the game. Shooting aside, I think he's done a, a pretty good job defensively. Um, the pace at which he moves and cuts, not only in the open floor, but in the, the half court, helps create easy offense. And uh, of course, teams are going to guard him as a shooter, so that's that's going to open up things for us as well. Uh, but he he just has that mature uh, approach, and I think that's what allows him to stay ready.